Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. It's Sunday morning. Guys, grab your coffee, grab a drink, get around your computer, your tablet, your phone, and let's play some Division. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, first, coffee. Alright guys, if you're watching the replay over on YouTube or if you're watching live here today, I thank you for joining us. Um, today we're running a Catharsis build as well, but let's get in here and let's look at the build and see what we got going on with this Catharsis build. Um, we're running specialization on this. We're running the Tactician because we need the laser pointer and we'll go into our first weapon which is the Kingbreaker. And this right here is the reason why we're running Tactician on this, is to get that laser pointer. Um, the Technician laser pointer that pulses targets, which is aimed. Um, so when you're aiming at your target, you are pulsing them. So we're getting that there, um, which goes with the perfect flatline. Um, amplifies weapon damage by 20% to pulsed enemies. So when we're aiming at enemies, our damage is going up by 20% on those enemies. After two kills, applies pulse to the next enemy that you hit. Um, and right now we're running that uh, crit hit chance. Uh, the magazine here has headshot damage. Uh, we don't have the one for the plus 20 rounds. That's the one we need, but the headshot damage is fine there. And then we got the long barrel uh, length laser pointer. And we uh, also have the muzzle here for the 10% stability um, because with ARs my aim tends to be a little shoddy so I got that stability on there just for my personal play style um, second weapon that we're running you can run anything you want in this slot because you really don't use it that much I'm running the the mantis just because you know I like to sit back a little bit and snipe a little bit like in the open world um, and this is hitting 408 K uh, total damage there so um, definitely definitely what I like to rock on the side piece. Um, now getting into the main build. Um, and it's all centered around this Catharsis mask. We have 170k armor, uh, incoming repairs at 18.5%, uh, armor regen and 10.5% critical hit damage. Um, vicious cycle, taking damage build stacks up to a cap of 30. Each stack grants 1% weapon damage. Taking damage, max stacks triggers a purge, removing all stacks and status effects and dropping a healing cloud which restores 5% of the max armor for 10 seconds that all allies in the cloud, to all allies in the cloud. So basically, when we're um, taking damage in this prox, we get a massive chunk of our armor back. So you'll see when we go through the video um, and go through the stream today how much the armor regen comes back. It is ridiculous and this is not even max yet because we want that crit hit damage to be max. We want that armor regen to be max um, and we want that incoming repairs. We want that actually also to be max as well and we want to and, and the mod that we have on here is crit hit damage mod that we want maxed. So that's the mask. Moving on to the next, moving on to the build, we're using two pieces of, of golem here. We're using the, the Shamar backpack. Um, the two pieces of golem gives us status effects and armor regen. Um, this backpack itself has adrenaline, luck, adrenaline rush. Whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy, gain 20% bonus armor for 5 seconds, stacks up to 3 times. Pull down is 5 seconds. So when we're up close and personal, um, face tanking people we are getting that adrenaline rush proc and it's giving us that bonus armor for five seconds again helping us with the armor region uh, on this right now we have um, you know we have the armor at 135k that could be a little higher um, we got armor region we got repair skills and critical hit damage what we want on the total attributes on this build we don't have it yet but we're working towards that is armor regen, critical hit chance, and critical hit chance. So we want to roll all of these to critical hit chance 
because running the King Breaker, we don't have a lot of critical hit chance built into the weapon, so we have to create that ourselves through attributes and mods. Um, so that's the that's the backpack. Our second piece of golem is the gloves, and we're running the Ala gloves, um, max armor for the core attribute, uh, max armor regen, and the other attribute that we want on this is crit hit damage. Um, we don't have it yet. We have health on here, but we would want to roll that for crit hit damage um, once we pick up a better set of gloves. And you know what's what we'll be farming for as we try to max out uh, this build. Uh, moving on with the build, we have the chest piece, which is the new gear set um, with uh, the new update, which is Uzina Getica. Um, that's the closer chest piece. Um, it gives us 5% total armor. Um, and on this, we have a core attribute of armor. Um, then we have critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and critical hit damage. You want all those maxed. Like I said, this build is not maxed yet. Uh, something that we're working towards, but I just wanted to come and give you guys a blueprint in case you have this mask and you want to run this build. It is very, very great for an armor regen AR build. <clears throat> All right, we've been running on to the next piece, which is the holster. It is the flawed and tacit holster from Bellstone. Uh, we have armor as a core attribute. Um, we have 12% critical hit damage, and then we have armor regen as well. And then the last piece we're using is the Marikami Industries um, giving us that 20% skill duration we want the named Marikami the Emeralds Guard I believe that is but it is so hard to find and so hard to get dropped um, I had one and it got deleted um, stupid me but uh, it's just one of those things I was going through deleting inventory and I wasn't watching what I was doing I deleted it um, but we want to run that there, but the Marikami, this is, this is just a replacement piece right here. Um, 20% skill duration, so it gives us that duration, um, of our Defender drone that we're going to be running and our decoy. Um, as far as the core attributes, uh, right now we have skill tier on there just to give us that, that 20%. We really want that to be armor if possible, um, because... You know, that's just something that we need for this build. We really don't want a lot of skill tier in this build. We just want to, we just want it to be, you know, armor regen and weapon damage. Um, but this is what we got right now. Like I said, we're still farming for this. So if you're trying to put this build together and you have it, um, you want that core attribute to be armor. You want the other attributes to be armor regen and armor regen on the Emeralds Guard. But right now we have weapon handling and armor regen. Um, and if you don't have the Emeralds Guard, you could do weapon. You could do um, armor regen and critical hit damage um, on that. So that's the build. Like I said, we're running the defender drone and we're running the decoy as our skills. All right. So now that we got the build out of the way, we're going to jump into some gameplay here. We're going to do some man hunts and we're going to show you guys how this rolls. Watch your six, Agent. Sergeant Daniels has no problem killing people. I think she enjoys it. Well, so do we. So, so do we. Alright, here we go. You see that armor regen, man, kicking in. It is no joke. I'm trying to hide. He hiding from me. Where we're at, right here. Got the armor regen going. Oh, if I could hit shots today, it would be great. Yo, my aim is trash. There we go. We're just getting totally tanked here. We're able just to withstand all of this damage. Come here. Yeah. 
Alright, there we go. Yeah, so not bad so far. No, we're only on normal though, so, you know. All the world's here because of the manhunt, but. Not doing too bad so far. Go. Get up there and open. The armor region is nasty right there. Oh, give me a break, guys. Give me a break. Come on. Give me that helmet. There we go. Oh, this guy's getting on my nerves. There we go. Go. Get some. Get wrecked, bro. Come on. I'll oh, quit strength for me, bro. What the hell? <laughs> like Division 1 all over again, right there. Division 1 PvP is what that NPC was trying to do. Hey. There we go. Get wrecked. Let the armor come back. Where are we at? Where are we at? Let's just get up here. We're breaking me. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Oh. You fucker. Come here. Call me a fucker. You're a fucker. If I can hit shots. All right. So, so far, so good with the build. Um, I'm able just to stay and just take damage and take damage and take damage. And it's not fully mid max yet, so um, I think I'm loving the the blueprint right now. The outline of this is uh, really coming together for sure. Where is the... Where do I go? Here. There we go. Alright, that's not... Alright, cool. Alright, so... This restock here. Sergeant Daniels, are you up here? Get some, baby! Get some, baby! Alright. Did the... Uh... Oh, she's downstairs now. Okay. Go. Got a restock here. Don't think we need it, but we might as well. Oh, 
All right, let's go, baby. Get some. Get some. Let's lead over there. Go. I'm trying to make sure I hit my shots, cause I do not have enough ammo in this mag to be missing shots with my potato aim. For sure. Is it over in this way? There we go. Ooh! It's out of nowhere. What's up, man? There we go. Alright, here we go. Just taking that right there. Turret. We'll just take it to the dome. Man, that catharsis cloud, bro. See that chunk of armor that came back? Woo! I am loving this build so far. Loving this build so far. What's up, man? Ooh. Smack me like I was a bitch. <laughs> Come here, let me bitch slap you. Take this AR to the face, bro. You lay down on me. Get your ass up. You taking a coffee break, bro? Nah. There we go. Come here. Let me finish you off. There's that cloud. There we go. There's the armor region. Agent Edwards. I guess this is personal. Yes, it is, bro. Here, get that. Come here, Daniels. Come here, Sergeant Daniels. Get face tank, baby. Take it to the face. There we go. Dead, baby. Wipe yourself off. There we go, there we go. Don't really need this drone, but we'll go ahead and proc it just in, just in case. Better safe than sorry. Get your ass up. Get your ass up. Come on, there we go. Got some more over here. Oh, we got a few left out there. We got our decoy back. So it does do good there long range. Um, as far as the Kingbreaker, this is my first time actually using the Kingbreaker, so I'm kind of liking this AR right now. Um, don't know how you guys like the Kingbreaker, um, but it's going pretty good so far for me. Like I said, we haven't been down one time with this build yet, and we've just been out in the open, just taking straight damage to the face. So. That's something that's been good. Kind of different than the play style that I usually play um, with skill builds and staying in cover. So it's just kind of kind of refreshing to be able to play the game in a new way. And not be like dying when I'm out in the open. But like I said, when we boost this up on challenging after we do all these manhunts, um, that's going to be the thing. Where are these people at? Hello. Hello. You going to shoot me? Oh, it's the drum. Agent, good work taking out that psycho Daniels. I've decrypted another Lao file. Come meet me in the basement. You're going to want to hear this. <laughs> 